Sock Passe, what's up, everybody? We back at the Blueprint Summit with our brother. Let the people know who you are. Dare CEO, 25-year-old entrepreneur. No doubt. 25 years old. Yes, getting it. Let the That's people know up. what you're getting into, man. So I'm from Philly. Um, I'm the credit guy, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, coming from the neighborhood that I come from, mm -hmm. a lot of people, you know, they sell drugs and things like that or work a nine to five. They fall complacent to the environment. So I'm just like the young motivation that inspire and motivate people that's my age, the, the um, generation under me, or even people like, you know, you guys. 100%. You know, bridging the gap, letting y'all know that, like, if I could do it, you could do it too. So right. once I um, got the education about credit and financial literacy, my life changed drastically. What wow. what made you get into this? Um, So basically, my son over there, Yusuf, he four now, but he was born November 7, 2018. Congrats. Um, And thank you. Um, I caught a case down Kensington and Allegheny, a neighborhood in Philly. Mm -hmm. Um, I got I caught a case down there selling drugs. And mm -hmm. basically, I was on probation in 2015 for um getting kicked out of Cheney University. I heard of Cheney before. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Cheney. Yeah. I went to Cheney. Um. Mm -hmm. You know, I got kicked out for selling weed and then my life pretty much started going downhill, selling okay. drugs. So what got me started was I caught a case, you know, in 2018, I was on probation. My PO said, come turn yourself in. Okay. And I went on a run because I had a newborn baby. I wanted to be there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, I could. So my mindset shift right there is like, I don't want to be taken away from him and I can't be selling drugs or I can't be in the hood because that's going to get me police contact. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So from that point on, I just was forced to you know, be stuck in the house. And I came across my Instagram and seeing, you know, people like big business, people okay. like Haitian CEO, and my life just turned up from oh, that wow. point on. Yeah. That's beautiful, That's a man. Blessing in disguise, yeah, that's beautiful, bro. man. Yep. So yep. tell the people about business credit or credit in general. Well a couple of nuggets from what you before learned. I give y'all these gems, the biggest thing that I'm gonna give y'all man is that like, you know what I'm saying, my business did a million dollars while I was on a run from the police. You what? Know what I'm so yeah, a million dollars. A million dollars while wow. I was on the run from the police. So when my when I caught that case down Kensington, I said, you know what? My PO said, come turn yourself in. I said, no. Nah. I um, went up Bloomsburg University with his son, mom. She finished school. She graduated. And while she was graduating Bloomsburg University, I was educating myself with YouTube University. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, smart. During that six months college cycle at YouTube University, I graduated. And the rest been history, you know what I'm saying? My business did a million dollars while I was on a run. Um, I moved to Atlanta, moved to Miami. I'm finally off probation now. And, you know, I'm about, I want to say like four years in, three years in, okay. almost four. And things been good. Nah, that's wow. what's up, man. Congrats, You're a great inspiration, bro. man. Woo! Right, your story gave me chills, bro. That's what's up, that's what's my up, brother. Bro. That's what's that's up. What's up. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, so the credit gems. Go ahead, go ahead. You feel yeah. me? Go ahead. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The credit gems is, man, you got to be an entrepreneur. Like, so it's something called a quadrant. You know what I'm saying? So it's four ways how you get paid in America, right? So it's a employee, it's a self-employee, it's a business owner, and it's an investor, mm -hmm. right? Say now, a lot of, uh, in America, we think the most viable thing is money, right? We see money. And we sit here, it, it's, we, it's evil. It drives us crazy, you know what I'm saying? We need money to put clothes on our back, food, eat, right. survive, right? Mm -hmm. So we got to figure out which way we want to figure out how to get money. Is you going to be an employer, which you trade your time for money? You know what I'm saying? Um, a self-employer, you work for yourself, but you still trading your time for money, right? right. Um, as a business owner, right? So right now we on this podcast, I would believe that this is, right? Yes. Yep. And... Let's say you guys own this podcast. So right now, this will be considered self-employed, right? Yes. Because we're trading our time, you know, to do this work. Right. Absolutely. Now, a business owner will have employees to replace you guys to where the podcast will still be running. But now you at home with your family chilling while your business still running. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So in order for you to be a business owner or investor, it takes money to make money, right? As a and, and then when you take your money to make money, guess what? You buy back your time. You know what I'm saying? So yep. now you use your money to hire the employees. Now you got time to chill at home with your family or go out there and figure out some more ways how to get more money. Yep, you know what I'm saying? So money, yeah. that's the gym right there. Just a mindset shift so you guys can understand that money is not viable. The most important, the most um, the most important viable thing is time. You know what I'm saying? Get yep. the, get, everything is a stepping stool. You know what I'm saying? Go from employee, money management, Come down to self-employee, master that, go to business owner, master that, come down to investor, you know what I'm saying? But you want to be on the right side of the quadrant. So my gym to y'all to sum it all up, 
is become an entrepreneur, become a business owner, become an investor. However you get it done, make that happen. Nice. Wow. And you nice. also give coaching advice on how to get credit and all of that stuff as well? Yes, I do give coaching advice. Um, Follow me on Instagram at D-I-R underscore CEO. Right now, you know, I'm not doing any mentorships. I do have a course in my bio that you could purchase. Yeah. Um, But another gem I'm going to give y'all is, man, focus on yourself, right? Because at a, at a lot of times, you see how he said, like, you know, you got any products or coaching or anything like that. I feel as though a lot of entrepreneurial entrepreneurs nowadays they focus on coaching more than you know focus on improving themselves mm. you know what i'm saying so you know i folk right now i decided to stop coaching and focus on me so i could get myself to the next level so i could eventually double back and help you get to the next level later yeah you, know you got inv- so, the first thing is you got to invest in yourself first thanks. Thanks. You got to Yo, invest in yourself. Thank, thanks so much thank for you. your time. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank dope, you. dope yeah, story, I wanna, my brother. I want to keep going, but it's thank cool, you. though. Ooh, yeah, no, yeah, no, you good. It's yeah. cool, yeah. man. I mean, it's, it's cool, man. Yeah. We here, man. We in your hotel, man. Talk yeah. to me. Yeah, Go yeah. Haitian CEO, man. That's my guy, man. No like, doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. How'd made, you guys meet? We made so much money together. Like, so, like, me and Haitian CEO, um, we met because I did something called a pull-up on a block campaign. So basically, like, what the pull up on the block campaign consists of is I was pulling up on the blocks that I used to trap on, sell drugs on or whatever, and I was pulling up with a suit on, a whiteboard, and I'm the same people I used to be trapping with. I'm telling them, like, yo, bro, like, this is what we need to be on right here. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? 680 credit score. Everything Herman talking about on Instagram, all you need is a 680 credit score, you know, um, two credit cards with a $2,500 limit, utilization under 30%. Right. All this stuff that HCO hey, talking about, I'm telling people that I'm on my block or whatever. So I did a pull up on a block campaign every single time I'm tagging Herman. I'm tagging HCO hey, every time. Mm. So I'm being annoying. So <laughs> he finally, he like, so... They told me what really happened. Like, Kevin put in a word for me, Herman, brother. He like, yeah, young boy, keep tagging you, tag you. Like, show him some love. Like, <laughs> right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, Herman, he ended up inviting me to one of his classes, like like, like how we at right now today. Yes. Yeah. Um, I went to one of his classes. You know, at the time, I already had my credit repair business going. So, it was just really going there to build that relationship more, mm. more than anything. Yep. Okay. Um, you know, but at the time, just like this today, he real busy. So, it's like... You know, you really don't got the time to build that relationship. Right. But I was able to, you know, give him a T-shirt, you know, give him my brand. So now he got my logo if he goes somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Nice. I was able to shoot some content with him to post on my platform, you know, and things like that. But um, the monumental ever since then, me and Herman been locked in because he made that. He ignited it. You get what I'm saying? Yes, he said, yes, young and yes, come yes. in, come, come to the in, class. Come in, come in. And from that point on, no we've been locked in. So it's like another thing that happened. Uh, with me and Herman relationship is that um, when I was fixing credit and he see he watched my story, he see my results or whatever. Okay. He had see me my results, but my laptop screen would be cracked and like broken, like it looked like a piece of poop or whatever. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, so um, bang. So Herman like, yeah, bro, like I will grab you a new laptop. You know what I'm saying what you need, like Whoa. Android or Apple. So me being me, it's like the same way how y'all like, what? Wow. Like, what? So I'm like, wow. let me not kill this man in pockets. Let me, <laughs> let me get an Android laptop. I don't want okay. a MacBook. You yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so he ended up pull, he ended up calling me up like, yeah, I got that laptop. I'm, I, meet me here. I drop everything I'm doing. I'm on my way. Wow. I pull up and not to mention you. I'm on the run from the police at this time. Wow. Right? So, <laughs> I'm happy you kept going, man. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I'm on the run from the yeah. police at yeah, this time. Yeah, so yeah. I pull up. Herman got the laptop. He give it to me. I'm like, Herman, before you give me this laptop, I got to tell you something. He like, what? I'm like, I'm on the run from the police. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been on the run for some while now. I'm like, before you, you know, associate yourself with me, I want to let you know what you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? He like, damn, I appreciate that. Like, that's that's what's up. He like, he like, um, you got a lawyer? I'm like, yeah, Shaka Johnson. He like, he like, oh, Shaka Johnson? Tell him you know Herman Doce. Um, I'll be a characteristic witness for you. I said, yeah. Yes, you don't wow. even know me for real. Like, yes. I'm like, up, so man. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, damn, bro. Like, so since you giving me some, I feel as though like it's something that I want to give you. Right. But when you look at somebody as the goat, you know what I'm saying, and so high, it's like, what can you give them? Right. You know what I'm saying it's like they know everything. You know what I'm saying? So I end up giving him something that I thought that he knew, but he didn't. You know what I'm saying? So um I figured out how to repair credit online when, excuse me, when everybody was sending out letters. 
You know okay. what I'm saying? So another gem is two resources that I use to repair credit. This is one method. is the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, and the CFPB, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. So I combined those two resources together, and I was getting things off of credit in four days. You know what wow. I'm saying? In four days, things was removed off your credit report. So when I tur- told Herman that, he like, for real? Like, you know what I'm saying? And then he seen my results on the gram. Okay. So he called me in for another meeting to his office. You know what I'm saying? So I could t- tell him how to, you mean, how to, how to, how to operate. Right. And I also showed him my background. I was making like $15,000 a month at the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He like, he like, you making 15000 And I was only 22. So me and Herman, we came up with a little partnership. Herman started paying me $5,000 a week. I went from making $15,000 a month to $35,000 a month wow. from Herman. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Her- Haitian CEO. Wow, you know what bro. Saying? What that a was like story, major. Bro. You know what I'm saying? That's major. Um, that's major. That's major. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's what's up. And, your, and your focal business is the credit repair business. Yes. yes wow. Yes, that's, my, that's my mainstream of income, credit repair. Beautiful, right, bro. Love, hey, it, love, it, love that energy. Beautiful man. story, man. I beautiful story, it. man. You know hey, one more time, man. Let them know where they can find you. One more time. You can follow me on Instagram at D-I-R underscore. Or CEO, um, show them the logo, bro. Yeah, this yeah. is it right here, y'all. So D I R underscore CEO. If you need your credit repair, make sure y'all tap in. I'm the best guy to get it done. You can ask around. You know any of the top people in this industry. You know my name is good. Um, you know, and we gonna get you the results that you deserve, guaranteed in 30 to 60 days. And we only charge a one time fee of $300. You know what I'm saying? So the best service. For the cheapest price, you can't get it done nowhere else. Nice. Well said, my brother. Nah, we really appreciate you, man. Woo! Definitely. Give me that. Definitely appreciate you. I can't wait you. to post this one. <laughs> yeah, 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 y